What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new My Damn Thoughts episode, and it is on the WWE Elite Series 96. We just finished up our reviews this morning. If you guys missed out on the Ilya Dragunov and Dewdrop reviews, or you missed out on Shinsuke and Kofi, or the Hogan and Brock review, definitely go check those out on the channel. I'd greatly appreciate it. Go ahead and leave me your predictions on what you think I will rank this set. You guys know that we rank this set in this series at the end of the video, and so please let me know your thoughts down below. We're where do you think I'll rank every single one of these figures, man? But if you don't know what My Damn Thoughts is, My Damn Thoughts is basically we take a WWE Elite Wave or a AEW Unrivaled Unmatched Wave and we basically break down the set. We get into some details about the set that maybe you don't know about. We kind of give you my thoughts and opinions on the full set as a whole. I go through some categories. We break them all down, break it down one by one, and I discuss everything. And then at the end of the video, we rank the set and I give you guys my internal thoughts on every single figure individually. So with that being said, man, let's dive into my first thoughts. That's usually how we started off, man. Honestly, with my thoughts on this set. My first thoughts were meh, you know? Uh, uh, getting into it, I don't remember where we first saw this set, but it wasn't my favorite set. It really really wasn't, you know? I don't think anything in this set was just, like, desperately needed. I mean, it is cool that we got two first time in the lines, but they weren't two first time in the lines that I was personally just aching for in my collection, you know what I mean? I think they're solid, and they are good additions to our overall roster. I just wasn't, you know, I wasn't the most impressed. I was like, yeah, it's solid. It's, it's kind of a meh. But after having them in hand, I am more shocked and surprised at how much I like this wave compared to what I thought when I first got them or when we first saw them. I'm sorry. Now getting into who I think is going to be the shelf warmer in the set. This is the shelf warmer segment. It's going to be Dewdrop, man. It's not even going to be close, honestly, because you guys know that women's figures, for whatever reason, do not sell as well as men's figures do. And I know that has a, things to do with a lot of different reasons, but the women's figures just don't sell. And I don't think Dewdrop is a Charlotte Flair, a Becky Lynch, a Ronda Rousey, one of those women that is more popular. So I do think Dewdrop will be the shelf warmer. I don't, you know, it's not, I don't think that's controversial. I don't think that's a hot take. I think that, I think a lot of people would, would meet me there. Now, getting onto the flip side of that coin, the hottest figure in the set, I think it's down to two figures, and you guys already know who I'm going to pull out. It's going to either be Hulk Hogan over here, or it's going to have to be the Brock Lesnar. It's going to be one of these two. I think if you find this set at retail, these will, these two, unless they pack more than one in each case, these two are probably going to be the ones that fly off shelves. You know, I don't think you're going to see like six of these just warming the shit, warming the pegs, unless you literally just walked in on a fresh store. You know what I mean? I think that a lot of people are going to want the updated Brock. I think a lot of people are going to want this base Hogan with this really good head and the headband. It's going to move. They are going to buy these. It's not even close. I think Hogan would be my number one, but I wouldn't be shocked if Brock beat him out or was the number two. I think that is easily what's going to happen as far as the hottest figure in the set. Now getting into the chase figure, it's actually Dewdrop. Now, typically what they do, if you guys did not know this, they give figures or, or talents, they give talents a chase figure if it's going to be a minute until they get another figure. So I think that is probably the best case for Dewdrop getting her two figures right here because it could be a while before we get another one. I don't know what our basic plans are or whatever, but she is the chase in the set. And I think I like the regular version better than the chase version in the green, I think. I think. That's a think there. I like blue better than green. Getting into the best head sculpt, I think we're coming back into the hottest figures in the set. I think that Hulk Hogan, I think he has the best head in the set. I think that uh, this is just crazy how good this looks. How accurate are those crazed eyes of Hulk Hogan right here, especially with the headband and the sculpting and the coloration. This is a beautiful looking head sculpt and I don't like Terry. I also had to give some honorable mention to this Brock Lesnar because I like the beard and I also like the sculpt on the hair for the for the man bun or the ponytail right there. I just think it has a little bit more of a cartoony look compared to the Hulk Hogan. I think this looks more old school Mattel. Even though you can see the true effects, this looks more true effects and more realistic than this one over here. So I gave the edge to Hulk Hogan in this scenario, in this segment of the best head sculpt in the set. Now if you guys want my honest opinion, on the worst head sculpt, I gave it to Ilya Dragunov. That's not even a category. I just think this is the worst head. I just don't see Ilya Dragunov in here. It looks like a random generic create a character or a weird guy you'd see stalking ladies in the street, you know? Just looks like a random weirdy, and that's that's the case there for me. I just, I'm not, I'm not messing with that head sculpt. Speaking of which, not really speaking of which, just speaking of Dragunov, he is the best articulation. This is the best, this is the best feeling figure in the hand or just the best movement. I think you could get him in better poses than anybody. With those ball joint legs that the Dean Malenko legs have. You're really able to get him into those tight positions. Sound weird. You know, you got the double jointed arms. He doesn't have stiff shoulders. He has a tight waist. He does not have a pretty face. You guys get the point, but that's not what it's about. It's about the articulation, and he has ball joints. He has a good ab crunch. Compared to the rest of them, he definitely feels the best in hand, or I don't know if he feels the best in hand. He just has the best articulation. He moves around the best. Now, getting onto the flip side of that, you probably think it's going to be Dewdrop for the worst articulation, and you could not be 
further from the truth because I'm actually going to give it to Kofi Kingston, man. I know that sounds crazy, but any figure that does not have a lower leg cut right here and the trouble that these legs give me because they're not on ball joints, they like slide out a lot. I just, I just do not like it, man. Worst articulation. Like, I just, I don't like it. And plus he has those bummy Cena shoes. Oh, God in heaven. I almost gave it to Shinsuke or Dewdrop, but I think the Kofi, the Kofi pisses me off more and it's not his fault. It's just the, the way they did his formula, which I get. I just think we just need new formulas, man. Like this just isn't, this isn't cutting it. I hate this ankle mold. I hate it. Uh, I hate when figures only have an upper thigh cut, not a lower shin cut. So for that reason, Kofi Kingston got the worst articulation. And I actually, uh, this figure impressed me a hell of a lot, but that one right there. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm pissed off about that one. Now getting into the best accessory in this set, the best accessory for me, this may shock you, Brad. It may come as a shock, but it's actually going to be the robe that comes with Ilya Dragunov. I was on the fence. There was a couple things you could have done here, but I think I like it better than Shinsuke's jacket back here. I think it has a better, like, I, I think that the jacket is beautiful, but it doesn't, I don't know. I just, I just like the robe more for whatever reason. I know that's, that's kind of mind blowing to say, but this fits the figure well. Not that the Shinsuke jacket doesn't. I just think that this is a, a just slightly edges it out a little bit. And it's pretty plain Jane, but at the end of the day, it's a very nice robe. And Dewdrop's jacket's also really nice, but I think that the robe of Ely Dragunov barely squeaked it out. It's it's very plain Jane, but you can get a lot of usage out of it, and I like it. So it's not the UK title. We've seen the UK title before. I went with the with the robe, man. The cloth accessories always reign supreme. No pun intended. That is good stuff. It is the time to rank the set from worst to best in my own personal opinion. Now, we have to get into the criteria, because I know somebody's going to be like, how is that figure higher than that figure? And the truth of the fact is, this is my ranking for Elite Series 96, and just because a figure comes in at the very bottom of the ranking doesn't mean that it's not good in any capacity, that it doesn't have some redeeming qualities about it, and that it's not worth the pickup. And just because a figure is number one does not mean that it is absolutely flawless, that they couldn't improve it in any single way, and that it's just the greatest figure I've ever freaking seen, I just have to compare it to the rest of the set. So in this set, there are more, better figures than a figure, or it's the best in the set. That's just how it how it ranks out. That's how it comes to be. All right, man, so getting into the countdown, starting out at number six, you probably saw this one coming, Brad. It's going to be Dewdrop, and there's no, like, no ill will towards Dewdrop. She has a great accessory. I think the head sculpt's solid. You know, it's a pretty plain Jane figure, but I'm just not a big Dewdrop fan, and I, I really just, uh, I don't care for the figure that much. I think that she doesn't have a lot of added extra details like the Nia Jaxes did. You know, it's very just smooth and they don't give her like a lot of sculpt going on. I know it's not completely her fault. They also didn't even give her the right color gear. It's supposed to be like a bright, sparkly glitter blue and they give her this flat pale blue. So I'm going to put her at number six. You know, again, no, no ill will, no hard feelings. It's just the facts of the matter. Coming in at number five, this one might shock some people, but I'm actually going to put Elia Dragunov at number five, man. I don't really care for the head sculpt and I'm just not the biggest fan of Elia Dragunov, and I think that when you have a really plain Jane figure like this, the head sculpt needs to just nail it, you know what I mean? It needs to just knock it out of the park, and they miss the mark here, man. They miss the mark here, and I have to put him at the number five spot. Now, I know a lot of people may say that's their favorite figure in the set, and that's fine. It's just, I, I'd rather have the other figures in the set. If you gave me a choice, I would rather have the four others than Elia Dragunov. That's kind of insane to say. Beings is what we have in the rest of the set, but that's just the facts of the matter. Coming in at number four, we we have Shinsuke Nakamura, man. I feel like a lot of people might be shocked at this one as well, and it's honestly shocking me. I love the white gear. I love the white jacket, the crown. The head sculpt's not bad whatsoever. I just think that at the end of the day, I think the other three are better. You know what I mean? That's just kind of how, that's the, that's all I can really say, even though I like a lot of accessories here. I mean, it might can move up a spot or two, but yeah, I just I, I just have him at my number, th my number four spot, man. He's my number four. I know it's it's nuts, but that's just, that's, if, if nuts and butts were candy and nuts, we'd all have a Merry Christmas. Getting into number three. At the number three spot is going to be Hulk Hogan. I think this is a fantastic Hulk Hogan. I think that, you know, it's very iconic. I think the formula's perfect. I know we've seen a lot of this, but this new head sculpt is phenomenal. I'm not so much as big on the accessories that we get, but the headband and the head sculpt alone really uh, take this one to the next level, and I know a lot of people are going to want this. And also, look how, look how damn big he is, bro. Look 
looking like a storm collectible out here how big he looks jesus christ and that takes us to the number two and one figures and coming in at number two is going to be the kofi kingston now you probably just mind is blown that kofi ended up this high but first of all i love kofi but second of all i really like this head i love i love the hair sculpt i really wish the heads like the facial expression was different but i love the hair i love that they went with this gear i think the gear is phenomenal i do hate the formula they used here but i just really like this figure man like I, I don't know what it is i don't know if it's the colors or the head or i don't know i don't know exactly what it is here but you guys can kind of see that figure sliding out right there but at the end of the day i love this kofi and i think it was a really different take on kofi and uh, i love it i think they did a fantastic job on it it is number two and that only leaves one brad and then there was one and you know who that one was you guys already know who it was brad it was the beast brock lesnar love the head sculpt love the formula uh love the fisted hands love the new gloved mic holding hands love brock lesnar in general i just love this this is great uh it's basically the ultimate edition in elite figure form even though it's basically an ultimate it just has better articulation in the torso so i don't know how you beat that man this figure is a beast no pun intended i love it it's the number one figure for me and i am happy with this ranking i, I mean give or take shinsuke might could slide up a spot you know uh but i like it. i think this is my my ranking that's my final ranking of elite series 96 now before we get out of here guys let's get into our random shout out for today this shout out's gonna go to alfred king who said yo mdt sheeta one of three thousand up for order yeah brad i i paid a hundred dollars for two of them i got two of them for the mock and loose collection what a freaking moron man i can't believe i even did that i i like i feel like and the aftermarket, it's going to be way below what they're asking. They want like 45 bucks, I think, for each. I don't know why the hell I bought that, bro. Like, I know I'm trying to get the completion of this set, and you got to have, like, if you get one of the shop exclusives, you might as well try to complete the set, because I think they look amazing. The box looks incredible, but good God, what do we, what do we do? What am I doing out here, bro? That was dumb. Honestly, like, I bet they're still up for order, you know? I, I guarantee it, actually, but... I'm getting the hell out of here. I'm upset now. I'm going to go watch college football. Have a blessed one. You crossed the line. I've been